<laughs> but, I'll, but I'll tell you this, this the, the, the economy now, the job market now is calling for more and more, whether through qualification or experience, but you have to come with, with something incredible to the table yes. and become more and more creative and prepared. How do we address this, this gaping hole, of, uh, gaping holes in the public education system that is not brand new? The Japanese have a system called Six Sigma met um, methodology where you have to, in manufacturing, is how do we produce out of every one million unit of a product, we have zero defect. And so what they have is input, throughput, and output. In other words, the output, we want zero defect. So we have the school system. We have the students, we have the school system, and then we have them graduating, the output. Obviously, the throughput is where they're having the difficulties. That is the school system tied to parents. And so what we have is there's a deficiency somewhere in there where either the school system is not doing what they need to do. And now there are some schools that are producing some excellent students. What we need to do in the public system is borrow or ask the private sector to lend a hand. Then we also need to know that there are students who may need extra help. So tutors. My kids need extra help, so we may have to get tutors for them. But the government needs to put a voluntary program in place where people like myself and Shanique and, and Michelle, we could say, okay, we'll lend an hour to tutor a student in math and English. It's a national program. I shouldn't look like, I, should, I really shouldn't look at you like that on, on, see on what, TV. See, I but really shouldn't. It takes a village. <laughs> it takes a village. Uh, and so as a village, as a community, we all got to lend a hand in building the students. Yeah, right. we could talk about how bad they're failing, but who helps? And so while we understand that there may be a deficiency within the school system, we can also go in an after-school program where you have a voluntary program to help some of these students do good. There are also kids in the private school sector who could come down into the public school sector to help. And I'm sure I could force, I mean, I could encourage my children to help. But it's all about everybody playing a role. It's too long that we've been failing. We've been talking about the D so long. We have been How do we about fix it? For it? Too long. How, and so there are, there are lawyers, there are doctors out there who are saying, oh, this is bad, this is bad. Let us do something. Let us now, let, man, I hope, uh, Glennis, I hope you're listening, man. Uh, listen, create a volunteer program so that the citizens can now, for free, we can help those students who need the help after school. 